This is a response to a video on YouTube entitled, Jehovah's Witnesses Founder Charles Taz Russell's Grave Site. First, I will note that the Jehovah's Witnesses were not founded in 1872, Russell was never a member of the Jehovah's Witnesses organization. He consistently preached against such an organization, as can be seen in the quotes from Russell I have provided on my websites. Joseph Rutherford created the Jehovah's Witnesses organization by rejecting the core teachings of Russell and the Bible students. See links in the description area. Russell himself never claimed to be the Laodicean messenger. He, in effect, stated that he did not find himself in the Bible. Russell had great respect for the efforts of the various persons mentioned in the video. Paul, however, obviously was not a Trinitarian, since he presented only one person as being the one God from whom are all as can be seen by what he stated as recorded in 1 Corinthians, chapter 8, verse 6. Nowhere does Paul, or anyone else in the entire Bible, ever present Jehovah, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob as being more than one person, or that Jesus is a person of Jehovah. I do agree that the Jehovah's Witnesses leadership have distorted some of the things related to Charles Taz Russell, not just because they might find the liberty which he taught to be more scriptural than the bondage that they are in that exists among the Jehovah's Witnesses, but more especially it appears that the JW leadership fears that any may find out the truth about the ransom for all and the atonement. Rutherford rejected the basis of the ransom as presented by Russell in order to condemn many to the second death while they are yet blinded and without ever having been justified from the condemnation in Adam. Rutherford's message about Armageddon was, in effect, almost the opposite of the message that Russell spent most of his life preaching and defending. Several years after Russell died, Rutherford authorized the construction of a pyramid monument in the center of the plots then owned by the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. It was stated the monument was to be erected as a memorial to the society, not to Russell personally. The biblical symbol of a cross and crown found on that pyramid is not the symbol of the Knights Templar, although the Trinitarian Knights Templar do make use of similar cross and crown illustrations. The idea that the biblical cross and crown used on that monument is a Knights Templar symbol has to be imagined and assumed, and what is imagined and assumed has to be imagined and assumed to be fact. I have found no place that Russell ever spoke of pyramidology. Etymologically, the word simply means pyramid study or study of a pyramid. As such, the word could be used of Russell's biblical study of God's witness in Egypt. Russell's study of God's witness in Egypt, however, had nothing to do with any kind of heathen occult rituals, spiritism, demonism, astrology, pyramid power, etc. Russell, of course, never claimed that the Bible students are God's organization on earth. In fact, 
he denied such an idea many times. While many of the Bible students, even while Russell was alive, were laying a foundation for such an organization, Russell himself consistently opposed such an idea. He did not consider the Bible students to be an organization, nor did he claim any special authority over fellow believers. Thus, in 1915 he had the following printed in the watchtower of July the 15th. There would be nothing to come out of, as an organization, if one is an international Bible student. And just before his death, in 1916 he had the following inserted into the watchtower of August the 15th. Let it be borne in mind that the society exercises no authority, makes no criticism, but merely gives advice, and that in the interest of the Lord's cause and the Lord's people. Russell was certainly not into what is usually labeled as occultism, not unless you are referring to the Bible itself as a cult. Since the Bible nowhere presents Jesus as being God Almighty, but rather as the one whom God Almighty anointed and sent, Russell was right in not adding such a concept to the Bible. The Bible identifies Jehovah as being Jesus God. The Bible nowhere says that Jehovah came down and became a human being to die for our sins. It is totally false that Jesus Christ claimed to be God Almighty. He claimed to be the promised son of the man, David, whom God Almighty anointed and sent.